I didn't, I didn't have my biological father in my life and my stepfather that stepped in was like not the best, you know, father yeah. figure at all, you know, but I had an amazing uncle and I have like a lot of uncles though, but this specific uncle, Uncle Chris, shout out to you. He's going to be the one that walks me down the aisle, but um, just like looking at him and growing up, not growing up with him, but when I would come, you know, go to his house over the summers, that's where I would get my example of what, you know, a male figure or a not a non-toxic male figure should be, if that makes a sense. True so, yeah. A true yeah. man. A true man, exactly. Yeah. I think also what we see a lot nowadays are baby daddies. Mm. Acting like, I think when I made a post, and some people may not like it, but I don't care, is I said that a ch after all of the great things of Malik and our Malia and him being a dad, he's still a future husband. Yeah. Like, he still takes care of me as the mother of his child. Right. You know what I mean? And it's so crazy that we skip over the fact that in order to have this child, mm -hmm. you have to love me first, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important to nurture your family and become not only a father, but you got to be a husband, too. 